LinkedIn. Welcome, this is Jonathan Ashuveri here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about LinkedIn Live. Okay, you need to be preparing for LinkedIn Live. It's just going to be too incredible for you to ignore. Um, we did a case study, and this is what I'm going to go through right now. So, LinkedIn has recently announced a new feature. Okay, for the business related social media platform. This is uh, that's right it's called a linkedin live okay so this is live streaming for some people or live video for some for some of you guys who are used to doing that on facebook already or instagram okay so linkedin rolled out a linkedin live as an invite only beta feature for few users okay so we at the LinkedIn Five Funnel program, we got together, okay? We got together with a few of those beta testers to test it out live, okay? So we decided to go all in, right? And we hosted a summit using LinkedIn Live. Check out the results. Check out the results here. Two of the LinkedIn summits hosted by Corey, myself, and Ira Rossen with Rob there. Look at that great engagement we got so much love over 3,000 views it was only there for what two hours and so many people just loved it it was just incredible uh, what we were able to do here and uh, I absolutely love it I absolutely love it and uh, it keeps just growing so if you're a host if you're a speaker and you want to be part of the LinkedIn summits this, this is the type of exposure you get brand new people the speakers that were taking part in this uh were generating leads we're getting a new audience okay if you said you had a podcast and you wanted people to join your podcast from you know that was just day two three thousand views that's going to increase guys that is going to increase even more the comments going to increase even more this is what we do this was only on linkedin alone by the way we were restreaming this on different platforms and so we're reaching so many different people okay so many different people brian did look at that welcome to the get client magazine digital launch insider all the different hosts you know this was a very well promoted for anybody for any speaker that gets involved in um, our summit in linkedin summits they are going to get so much exposure that was the great uh, Corey Sanchez there presenting a LinkedIn Get Client Summit. We're bringing on uh, Brian. Um, the engagement was incredible, guys. The engagement was incredible. Uh, the videography, the you know the, the speakers on this was just. I mean, look at the comments. Just complete comments, comments, comments from different people that are just loving what's happening right now. Um, just goes you know close on to that. All the different speakers that took part. Um, so much. Um, that's. That's uh, Brian being featured on a Digital Launch Insider, which gets thousands and thousands of downloads on um, Apple and, you know, there's all apps, basically. So, so much to gain for being part of the Link Summit. Now, I'm going to share um, what we experienced with LinkedIn Live, okay? This will give you an idea of what to do before everyone gets it in like 2020 2021 or whenever linkedin decides to roll it out to everyone else okay so because that's what's going to happen it happened in facebook that's what's going to happen here as well okay so how are businesses brands and individuals going to start using linkedin live that's the real question well linkedin has mentioned that they hope users will broadcast content that falls in line okay with the business related content now, this includes live conferences. Okay, so if you're thinking about that, live con conferences is good. Product announcements, Q&A sessions, and other office hours events. Okay, but we, for us, we hosted a summit and, you know, we got a lot of engagement as you just saw. So let me share some of the ways our business prepared and used LinkedIn Live. And from this case study, you'll get some tips as well. Definitely you'll get some tips from this, okay? So first of all, we plan to create a specific content for LinkedIn, okay? So we brought together over 20 LinkedIn speakers for the summit, okay? So this is what we call it, LinkedIn Get Client Summits. Um, these are some of our hosts and these are some of our speakers, okay? 
Uh, this was specific business content to help business owners and entrepreneurs learn how to get clients using LinkedIn platform. Okay, so that was a general, um, that was a specific business related stuff. So everyone knows that LinkedIn members moderate the content um, that they find in the newsfeed. Okay, so what do I mean by this? If your content is not business related, you're sure going to hear about it in the comment section. Okay, because you know, LinkedIn, the professionals on there are protective about the type of information. Okay, so you've got to listen to the feedback. Okay, you get in your comments and always strive to improve your approach based on users' feedback. Okay, now with our summit, it was purely business related and so our engagement was positive 98 percent of the time it was positive okay because it was linkedin live a lot of people were on there people just engage with it now if you are used to uh, streaming or doing live video on youtube and facebook you know you're gonna have a huge leg up on your competition when it comes to preparing to go live on linkedin live as well um if you're waiting for access to LinkedIn Live, you know, consider using Facebook and YouTube as a practice piece. You know, create a, what I do is create a group on Facebook and start practicing. That's what I did and I continue to do so, by the way. Now, if you want to apply for LinkedIn Live, there is a link below this video and it gives you all the details, okay? So if you want to apply to get your own LinkedIn Live feature, and it's not to everyone, but they've actually given you the opportunity to apply before everyone else okay so no fake information compared to other social media platforms now what do we mean by this basically we mean that because linkedin is a professional platform because you have to put in your uh, like history of information the fakeness of compared to other social media platform is just it's just so wide okay so there's less fakeness on linkedin this, this is real information so LinkedIn is a place where users highly regard their profile accuracy and business reputation. Unlike YouTube and, uh, and Facebook, which suffers from large amounts of fake accounts and sometimes unaccountable activity. Okay, LinkedIn's community and established culture will lead to a higher level of quality. And we saw that during the summit. We definitely saw that during the summit. And this is why LinkedIn leads convert better than other social media platforms, according to many agencies. With this in mind, you want to make sure that your content is highly, you know, highly produced and effective in telling your story in a professional way. Obviously, you want to get more engagement. Consider how you can incorporate a live viewer engagement on your LinkedIn live streams. Okay. And don't make the mistake of ignoring your live audience, okay? Consider addressing the live comments and recognizing that your audience by name, which as presenters, um, which we as presenters did during the summit, okay? Uh, for us, during the summit, we asked the audience to ask as many questions as they can think of, and we got one of the speakers to answer to uh, as many um, over the three days. So that got the engagement going. That got the engagement. Asking questions and answering those questions in the comment section gets the engagement going. Remember, the people commenting on your LinkedIn live stream are part of your business network. They're your connections. You've connected to them in the last six months, a year to the last two years. And maybe and some of these are important partners or prospects for your business. So it's even going to be more. That's why I believe it's even more engaging. Okay. And you want to plan your content, okay? One of the biggest mistakes people tend to make with live video is assuming it doesn't need planning. So you want to plan for your content. We plan, you know, for the summit, we plan at least a month before we did the summit. A month before we did that. So you definitely need to plan for your presentation. Now, FOMO, fear of missing out. This is really crucial when it comes to live video. Uh, the biggest pull with live, whether it's on uh, television or social platforms or radio, is that it's happening right now. Okay, so this creates that element of fear of missing out. Okay, which is key to hooking in and holding on to your audience. Okay, now right before our summit, we promoted how exclusive the summit was going to be. We talked about the gifts that we were going to be giving away live 
only if you turned up live on the, on the summit, okay? I have to admit, since we got over, over 198 people live, LinkedIn helped in getting more people uh, using its own um, algorithm because they saw the engagement. Just wanted to talk to you about uh, the notifications, LinkedIn's notifications. So the notification announces to your connections, to your audience that you're live and people you know, and people do join once they see that, they click through that, and especially if they're interested in the topic. Okay, so we made the announcement and notifications when we went live, um, you know, all that goes into the notification section and people will click on this, as you can see there. Okay. You know, we started with about 40 people eventually, um, you know, when we started live, it was about 40 people. And then it just grew and it stayed at over 100, you know, 170 people for nearly two hours, which was incredible, which was a world record. I think we are the only ones that have done that. We've created a world record for that. And it was an experiment, but it, it was a great experiment, a great engagement. I mean, look at that, guys. 722 comments. People were just really loving, asking questions, engaging with the speakers, you know. So LinkedIn algorithm does help share our content because because of the engagement on the news feed. So you also want to tell people in advance of your live video session, make sure you have an advanced time and date with your audience. So we promoted it a month before, so a lot of people knew about it. A lot of the speakers uh, you know, promoted it for us as well. Uh, this means your audience, they're committed. They're more committed because you've told them in advance, okay? We had some trained live video presenters. It's good to have that be comfortable in front of the camera. Um, okay, so a great consideration is using a trained live video presenter. You know, I brought in Corey, Mary, and Rob, all natural in front of the camera. But if you're not natural in speaking in front of a camera, you have to practice as I continue to do. I continue to practice um, in front. Okay, so. A presenter can save you from any unplanned events, okay? Uh, part of keeping a live video entertaining is remembering that your audience may not have um, been with you from that start. So unlike traditional video, it's best to keep reintroducing the topic you're covering um, throughout the summit as well. That's one thing good about live. Let's talk about duration. Historically, social video has been more successful when, when it is like bite-sized, okay? We decided to go for two hours for the, for the duration and we found people continued watching. It was incredible. But I'll say test it out with your audience. Do test that out with your audience. So in conclusion, LinkedIn Live is an exciting opportunity really for businesses and peers to connect like, um, like never before. We were able to you know, really introduce ourselves to a new audience because of LinkedIn was introducing our live to a new audience, okay? And we had fun with it. The speakers had fun with it as well. So prepare, really have fun, get involved with the engagement, give prizes away. And we just found the quality of the people coming on the live stream was incredible. The point is LinkedIn has far better quality audience compared to Facebook and Instagram and all these other social media platforms, which have a lot of fake accounts, okay? Um, I hope this little um, case study helped you understand how to use LinkedIn Live uh, once it becomes available to everyone, to you and your company. See you on the next video.